Hi, my name is Thad. I'm 42 years old and I was recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, so I had uh, just felt sick, um, kind of to me felt like flu-like symptoms and um, I don't know, just kind of tired, run down feeling, just your typical flu, symptoms you wouldn't really think anything of. Um, so I didn't ever go to the doctor for that because typically uh, anytime I do go in for flu they tell you the same thing. It's like, oh, it's viral, can't do much for you. Get lots of rest, drink plenty of fluids, and you'll get better in a couple of weeks. Well, I didn't. Um, just uh, very got very tired feeling all the time and just run down and no energy whatsoever. Um, this kind of went on for two weeks or so, and uh, after uh, after about two weeks, I just wasn't feeling any better and was getting worse. Really, um, the uh, I get home from work and probably around 6.30 or so I'd just be so tired I'd have to go to sleep and just wake up a couple hours later with no energy and um, lots of uh, very dehydrated kept drinking and drinking and drinking lots of water and uh, sugary things like um, sweet tea and orange juice and um, lots of peeing like uh, lots and lots of peeing um, I'd drink something, I'd maybe have 20, 30 minutes at best, and uh, I was to the bathroom and right out. And this, this was constant. It was um, not just every now and then, it was any any time I would drink something, um, yeah, I'm, I'm peeing 20, 20 some minutes later. And um, so finally, uh, I'm like, all right, I need to call my doctor, see what's going on here, because this flu isn't getting any better. Um, so uh, I get in to see a ner nurse practitioner and um, oh, they run me through the motions and all that stuff and uh, uh, do some blood work on me and uh, they're like, well, your A1C is really high and uh, you've got type 2 diabetes is what I uh, was initially diagnosed with. So they'd sent me home with some metformin um, and that didn't really work for me. Um, matter of fact, a couple of days previous to going in to see the doctor, um, I, I was having more issues trying to just hold down food at all. I'd uh, try to drink, um, try and eat a meal, and a couple minutes later, just my body wasn't having it, and it's kind of exorcist-like vomiting, just blah! and. Uh, uh, so a couple days of that, and anyway, finally uh, go in to the doctor and see them. Like I said, they send me home with some uh, metformin. Tried to take that and eat and, and whatnot, and same story there, just uh, not having it. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, so the next day, um, same thing. I wake up in the morning, take another one, try and eat. No difference there. So. Um, Finally, I had my mom take me into the emergency department, and uh, at this point, um, let me back up a little. Uh, I'd been losing weight before ever going to ED, and a, a noticeable amount. Um, like I, I probably, on average, weigh about 160 pounds, and I was down to uh, it just get lower and lower. It was 150 when I look at the scale. Next couple days, 145. Finally, uh, 143 was the lowest I remember seeing it, and um, it's due to uh, diabetic ketoacidosis, which basically is um, your body's inability to make insulin, your pancreas specifically. This leads to carbohydrate sugars in your body not being able to be processed, and they build up, and your body's response to not taking in those nutrients is to try and feed itself somehow. So um, you you build up uh, ketones in your system, um, and which is an acidic thing um, that uh, basically goes through, and your body is trying to feed on other things like your protein and your fat. So I ended up losing a good 
I'm guessing 15 pounds of weight in a matter of probably about two weeks. Um, so anyway, fast forward back to the uh, ED, um, at which point I'm just all sunken looking and skinny and gray and uh, just not well. Um, so I get in there, they uh, do of course more blood tests, they, they immediately figure out, yeah, I'm dehydrated and get me on fluids, run, do a blood test, uh, come back about, I don't know, an hour later or so and um, you've got type 1 diabetes, which is, uh, like I said, that's, um, your pancreas just does not make insulin anymore, your, uh, your own immune system basically thinks that your pancreas and the uh, beta cells which make that insulin are now the enemy and they do a profoundly well job at uh, killing your beta cells. And um, so I'm in the hospital on fluids, um, on insulin at this point, uh, hadn't really effectively eaten in a good day and a half uh, just because whatever I'd take in came right back out. Um, so. Um, a very good hospital I go to. They uh, they fixed me up pretty good um, with the fluids, insulin. Like I said, um, it was probably about two days before they let me eat uh, a meal, and uh, I don't really even remember what it was. It was just kind of cafeteria food and whatnot. Uh, but uh, by the time I ate whatever it was, it was the best meal I had ever eaten in my life at, at that time. It, it wasn't, but it, at the time it was. Um, so, yeah, so I was hospitalized for two days, um, recovering, getting rehydrated, um, getting some insulin back in my body, and uh, um, being educated on diabetes and um, how to uh, basically calculate how much insulin I would need per carbs taken in, when to take it, how to do it, how to, how to prick your finger, and take your glucose reading. Um, um, so it was all brand new to me. Um, never had to think for my pancreas before that. A um, little scary when you go 42 years of your life never having to think about it and then now you have to think about it with every single meal. Just um, little different for me but uh, um, I'm adapting pretty well um, got uh, like I said uh, when I got discharged um, yeah I got home that night and uh, I, I had my uh, my mom and my sister were with me and you know just kind of taking care of me my uh, sister ended up staying the night with me just because I was freaked out and uh, kind of scared about uh, my sugars going low, high, just crazy all over the place, and um, she, she called me down, definitely. Um, she's a, a licensed practical nurse, and um, uh, eased my fears um, as best she could. I uh, couldn't really sleep the first couple of days, not, not very well anyway. Um, that was just due to my, you know, just like, you're a type 1 diabetic. You have to do this for the rest of your life. You have to calculate carbs, uh, calculate how much insulin to take, take it with every meal, um, keep keep uh, your sugars within a certain range. It was all a bit overwhelming for me, really. Um, and uh, the, the lack of sleeping well was um, uh, just that anxiety and the... Uh, I had a fear of... Um, my sugar sinking when I was asleep, so I, I was just terrified I was gonna go into a coma or die in my sleep, and well, that didn't happen. But uh, uh, just just lots to go through in your mind when you're told, "Hey, you have type one diabetes," and um, but uh, yeah, the I, I'm doing pretty good with my sugars and whatnot. Um, the I've pretty much been diagnosed for about a month now, two days, uh, April the 10th, 2016. I learned, um, well, I got the uh, diagnosis of type 2 um, on March the 9th, and then the next day was the 10th. I would have, uh, that's when I was in ED and got upgraded to type 1.
friends and family very important to have on your side during these times um, and probably forever to uh, uh, check up on if you know a type 1 diabetic uh, don't be afraid to check up on them every now and then see how they're doing ask them um, they can use it whether they ask for it or not um, yeah so let's see what else uh, a few days after being discharged from the hospital um, I had noticed that uh, my eyesight just within two or three days started to go from uh, crystal clear I mean I'm, I'm farsighted but uh, things are really clear and within a few days that went away which was very disturbing um, and here's about how I noticed uh, checking my phone I, I noticed that hmm so I can't read and um, what's that say uh, yeah, so that's, um, from what I understand, is the buildup of sugars uh, in your system it basically fills your uh, microvascular veins, uh, like it would in your eye, everywhere really, but in your eyes, and it um, kind of jams them up with sugars and starts to secrete out, and it, it's basically like having, um, oh, like, like when you wake up in the morning and you've got sleep in your eyes and things aren't clear and you just can't rub it out enough and uh, anyway very very bothersome that uh, I could go from no reading problem whatsoever to I can't read a thing and um, fortunately uh, it's been about a month since I got discharged now and my uh, my sights come right back which is great because I have to read for my job, I, I like reading, it's, it was um, just something I never thought about before really, the, or I took for granted how, the value of vision, um, until you can't read, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's all cleared up, I'm, I'm very happy about that, um, and, uh, let's see, so, Let's talk about some sugars, I guess. Um, initially, like I said, my uh, sugars were just all over the place. That's, I, I guess, kind of expected after going into uh, DKA. Um, and yeah. But anyway, they, they've leveled out over the last few weeks. I'll still have the occasional high. Um, little too many lows for my comfort level. Um, matter of fact, uh, since yesterday was the 9th and I, I was actually making a video because it kind of my one month of um, being known as a diabetic and um, uh, my sugar as I was setting up my cameras and everything to record this video um, I, I kind of noticed that uh, oh, my head was sweating my hands were clammy and uh, kind of doing that little trembling number and I could just tell um, was a bit confused so I picked up on like uh, I think my sugar is low tested myself and um, I was a uh, my blood glucose at the time was 31 which is very low um, pretty dangerous so uh, I'd eaten a glucose tablet and took in basically a half a glass of orange juice and then just happened to have my cameras on me so I took the whole five seconds it takes to fire one up and kind of record what that's like. Um, in normal circumstances, I would say never worry about getting that on film. Um, worry about yourself. Get uh, get glucose in you. Take care of yourself before any of those kind of concerns about cameras or anything. But I happened to have them right on me, and it was it was pretty simple to fire up as I was. Uh, going into that and um, kind of like to show you that video now and uh, kind of see what it's like to go into a low sugar and uh, here we go <sighs> okay feeling really low on sugar right now um, I've already been uh, taking a glucose tablet um, drink a little orange juice eating some crackers um, 
and butter and jelly and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I can totally feel it. My uh, glucose about three minutes ago was. Let me check my meter. Was. Thirty-one. Thirty-one is not good. Um, try to correct that right now. I'm going to retest here in ten minutes. Um, totally feel it. Can absolutely tell. Um, shaky, confused a little. Um, shouldn't probably be even screwing around with making this video right now, but. I'm going to do that anyway. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Orange juice. These uh, peanut butter crackers are pretty tasty, really. Peanut butter and jelly, rather. But um, anyway, going to make a series of videos, so logging this right now, and um, yeah. Okay, a couple minutes later, um, still feeling a bit shaky, but I've eaten, um, like I said earlier, probably shouldn't even have screwed around making a video, but uh, I want people to see what that's like, um, some of the symptoms. Um, I said confusion, um, it was just sweating above, right about here, um, hands are doing that number, right now it's uh, all indicators to me that um, my sugar's screwed up, low, so continuing um, eating some sugary stuff, well, retest in a minute and see how that goes okay so it's an hour later after having that uh, low blood glu glucose reading of 31 i um, gonna retest myself and see where my sugar's at now after uh, eating some food and um, a glucose tablet and uh, some orange juice stuff like that so let's see where my sugar's at We're at 164. It's a little bit high, but I'll take that over uh, 31 any day of the week. So that's what it's like to have really low sugar there. Um, like I said, don't worry about getting it on film. That's not important. Uh, getting your sugar back up into reasonable levels is far, far more important. Um, Again, I had my uh, camera set up and ready to go anyway, and just noticed I was low, so I did get that on film, but um, um, yeah, I'll be making more videos, I'm sure, in the future, and um, feel free to hit the thumbs up down there or subscribe if you're interested. Um, I'll see you later.